Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. Windows Mobile Development from Microsoft may have stopped for the most part until Windows Phone 7 comes out, but that doesn't mean that the development at XDA developers hasn't uh, decreased in activity. In fact, there's still a lot going on in the Windows Mobile world over at XDA developers. New interfaces coming out, a lot of new awesome ROMs. In this video, we're going to show you the Max Sense UI built into an energy ROM from XDA developers. Let's get to it. <laughs> Now we've already covered the Mac Sense UI in a previous video back in May, but there have been a lot of changes since then, so we wanted to film another video and show you what has changed. So let's start off here. We're going to unlock the device, and this is the unlock screen taken from the HTC HD Mini, so if we had extra notifications, we would see them down here, but we can slide to unlock. So what we're dealing with here is a lot of changes, all of which really tap into Sense 2.5, uh, the weather widget and the calendar widget and things like that. For example, uh, this first screen, which has widgets on it that you can customize, if you tap on the clock there for five appointments, it will take you into the standard HTC uh, interface, the, the Sense interface. So this may look familiar to you if you're running stock HTC Sense. Let's jump back home. The same applies to the calendar widget and let's say the weather, if you tap on the weather, you're taken into the beautiful sense tab, uh, the weather interface here with the weather animations, very nice looking and all of this is customizable. We can also swipe to the left to see uh, some widgets that are over here and this is a really cool widget. It ties into the HTC favorite people uh, module so that you can flip through and see your, your favorite people and from here you can choose to call them, text message them, send them an email right from this little cool widget. Up here here we have an internet search tab, kind of like you would get on Android, and down here is a multimedia player, so you can control music right from your home screen. Now if we go to the other direction, we have a variety of toggle switches, turn on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Again, all of these are customizable. I'll talk about that in a second. But first I want to talk about what's going on up here in the taskbar. We have the start menu button, which sometimes is difficult to open. There it goes. Uh, and you can also, of course, use the start menu button on your HTC HD2. But all of these other icons are very easy to use. So we can very, very quickly turn on and off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Of course, you could do it from this screen as well, too. So if we tap on the Wi-Fi icon, we should get a pop-up that says Wi-Fi off or Wi-Fi settings. And let's tap that again. We can tap on the Bluetooth icon to turn on Bluetooth. And you get the idea, all of these icons do something different. And over here on the right, we have a task manager, which will quickly let you turn on and off a variety of programs. I don't have anything open right now, so it's not showing me uh, anything there. So let's talk about customizing some of these widgets. We'll go to a kind of empty screen over here, and we'll press this button in the bottom right corner and click Edit Widgets. Again, very much like Android. So we can press the plus button. Let's say we want to add a clock, an analog clock. So here's the clock, you can move it around or you can throw it in the trash bin. Again, it's very much like Android, but on your Windows mobile phone, it's extremely smooth and fluid, and it taps into the HTC Sense interface, which is just great. And when you're done, you can press the check mark and you are all set. Now, another piece of functionality as we wrap up this video is here on the bottom, if you flick this to the left, you access your quick launch uh, I guess application and, and you can swipe to the right and put a bunch of program icons here uh, programs that you use on a regular basis so quite simply you tap on one of the shortcuts and this is the quick link so you can add uh, people that you call on a regular basis you can add websites this may look familiar from the home tab of HTC Sense 2.5 so we can go to bookmarks and it will save a little thumbnail of the website if you've been to it uh, let's go back to that and if you haven't been to it, it'll just show you the standard stock little bookmark icon there. So Mac Sense UI is an awesome way to experience HTC Sense in a different way. And it's now being cooked into a lot of ROMs over on XDA Developers. I'll post a link in the description to this particular ROM that is an energy ROM. And it's very easy to install and uh, it looks great. Please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to our channel for more smartphone videos. Thanks for watching. That's it for now.